Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to cover 20 new bags that have hit the scene, yet nobody seems to be talking about them, so let's see what we think. The first bag is from Celine. This is the Cabas 16 tote. Now usually, in my mind, tote bags are kind of boring, they're kind of all similar, but this one I feel like Celine has done a really nice job. You see at the top there's this sort of curved cutout, and there's also the gold hardware and the clochet, and here we go, there's a turn lock feature, so nice little points of design on this tote bag. Also, it's a nice functional size. Dimensions are 15 by 11 by 5. Made of calfskin on the outside, lambskin lining on the inside, which will be really nice. And here is the back of the tote. Price is a little bit hefty at $3,300. Next bag is also from Celine. This is called the Large Romy. It's got this sort of slouchy hobo style, this half moon crescent that is so popular these days. It's all calfskin. I love this color, of course, this beautiful tan. The contrast stitching is really lovely. And then you've got the rounded buckle detail on the strap. It comes in a variety of different colors. Price is a little bit much. It's $34.50. I did notice there were a lot of searches online for dupes of this bag. Next, let's move on to YSL. We've got the Calypso bag. I have not heard anybody talking about this bag, maybe because it looks similar to many of their other bags from previous collections, but this one here has a single flap with the chain detail on the strap, leather brake so you can double it up or single it if you want it to make it longer. Price on this is $27.90, yes. And YSL, from what I understand, is going to have another round of price increases soon, probably in the May timeframe. Here's another YSL bag called the Le Pochon. Now, this is interesting because this is like a large oversized tote that cinches so it's got interesting detail it doesn't really scream YSL in terms of branding logo hardware that sort of thing but it's got a cool look to it I'm going to compare this with the ever so trendy and popular I care maxi tote. The I care maxi tote came in at 4900 this is going for 3600 so you're gonna save a few hundred bucks and I do have a third YSL bag. It's called the S Giant Travel Bag. Now this is big, bold, all leather. I don't know how practical an all leather travel bag is, but it's it's cool. It's got the quilting. It's got the very interesting double zipper top. It's got a strap that's removable so you can wear it on your shoulder. I do think it will be heavy for travel bags. I tend to go for nylon or canvas, but you know, if this is something that floats your boat, it's interesting to look at. It's $4,700. Here it is from the side. Here it is from the back. So let me know what you guys think of these new YSL bags. Next, we move on to Gucci. This is the equestrian and inspired shoulder bag. This actually debuted in 1981, so this was just pulled from their archives. It's inspired by the horse saddle. If you're into horses, I am. I love anything equestrian. And it comes in a variety of different colors, and depending on which one you get, it ranges from $37.90 to $38.90 in price. Then we've got Strathberry, Strathberry Mosaic Bag. This is a brand new release. It's, it's pebbled, grainy leather. It looks hardy and durable. It looks like it could be dressed up or down. It's got a top handle, as you can see here. And then you have these straps so you can wear it on your body. But it's got a variety of different colors, and it's going for $7.95. So in terms of price, $7.95 is definitely well, well below some of the other prices on the previous bags that I showed you from the larger brands. Let me know what you guys think of Strathberry. The inside looks very roomy. It's got a zippered compartment and a lot of space, and then it's got the two magnets that close it up. Then we move on to Prada. Of course, we're heading into summer. This is their mini wicker bag. It is pretty mini. They should have called it micro. This is going for $11.70, which is a good chunk of change for this material, but it's super, super cute. It's super cute. And here's what it looks like on the body so you can really see how small it is. It's really micro. I don't know if the micro bag trend is going away or what. Here's another Prada bag. This is the multi-pocket bag and it's made of antique Napa leather. So it's got sort of like that wrinkly look to it, that aged look. This is from the runway. This is retailing for $4,200. It's got that cool Prada strap. It's the wide sort of like seatbelt uh, width so it's going to be comfortable. A lot of different pockets and comes in pink and mint but I don't know you guys like this leather or not let me know then we've got more mint so this is from Louis Vuitton the micro vanity I don't know if the vanity bags are still going hot or what but this is the empreinte leather in the pearly finish going for $1,900 I don't hear anyone talking about this and I just wonder if the micro bags are just kind of fizzling out what do you guys think however as you can see here on this color the wisteria color it says to due to high demand your product will be shipped in 30 days or 44 days 
Next, let's move on to Demelier. A lot of you have been asking me to check out this English brand based in London. This is the clutch version of their very popular best-selling Vancouver bag. It's got that really nice hardware detail and it comes in a variety of different colors as well as different leather embossings. Like you've got this one here that is croc embossed and like a pearly white ivory finish. It's got a chain as well. So it kind of reminds me of like a wallet on chain style. It's limited um, in terms of space on the inside. This is going for $460. It's got fabric lining. It's actually on sale right now at Neiman Marcus, so I'll link it down below. All right, next up is the Kuyana Sculpted Handle Bag. Now this one I don't hear anyone talking about, yet it continues to sell out over and over again online. So on the inside you see really nice configuration, nice pockets and compartments. Here's what it looks like when it's filled. So I think it's really nicely organized. The back has a back pocket, you guys, so that's bonus. And so here's what it looks like with the back pocket with a little item inside. The handle definitely reminds me of the Bottega Veneta sardine handle. Now the strap you do have to add as an accessory separately for $48. The bag itself is $328. As you can see, it's sold out once again. So you have to join the wait list to be notified. Here it is on the model. I think it's beautiful. I think it can be dressed up or down and it's interesting. Next, we have Bottega's new bag, the Solstice. This one is in a beautiful lemon yellow. It's an interesting kind of odd unique shape it looks like it would be fluid it's got gold hardware sort of knot detail on the sides and then a knot detail with the leather little strings on the top here's what it looks like i believe this is the small size it goes for 3500 the medium size goes for 4500 it's got the classic interwoven detail of course then we move on to madewell and let's stay on the theme of woven so this is their puff cross body bag but it's the new woven edition now this one i think is super cute comes in three different colors actually i think it comes in like five different colors now you got it in tan you got it in the olive before you have it also in this pop of blue which will be really fresh for the summertime and uh, yeah this is what it looks like with the zipper opening really simple simple goes for 128 it's on sale for 30 percent off right now i'll link everything down below Next, we move on to Hermes, and I know a lot of times many of us say, oh, Hermes doesn't come out with anything new. Well, here's a new Kelly-style crossbody bag, and this was released recently. I don't think it's really hit many stores yet. I don't have pricing, but I'm curious what you guys think about it. Also, another Hermes bag is the Archon bag. This was all over the runway show recently, and I think it's pretty cool. It's like this oversized round circular bag with the top opening. It's got a key fob on one side and a zippered compartment on the other so this is the front of the bag and I think it looks kind of artistic and sculptural again I don't have pricing on this one either and I haven't seen it physically in person but here are some shots from the runway lots of different variations of leathers and combinations and I think look at that on the right the model's hand in the pocket I think that's so cool Next is Dior. So this is the key bag. This is one of their newest bags, very retro vintage. It's actually uh, something that was pulled from their archives. So this is an old style. The key here is the, the no pun intended, the turn lock is like a little key, it twists. So it's an interesting feature. Here's the inside. Kind of looks like a mini old school doctor's bag, if you know what I'm referring to. This one goes for 4,600 in the small size, 4,900 in the medium. Here's also the oblique, if you're into the oblique pattern. Next is another Dior bag. This is the CD Lounge. So very much unlike the vintage retro, this is more modern, youthful, a little bit playful with the hardware detail. It's got um, the CD detail on the chain, as you can see on one side, and then leather on the other side. So curious what you guys think of this one here. This one goes for 2800 And then here's what it looks like on the inside. It's a very simple silhouette. I do like the enamel detail. I don't know if you guys are into that. I'm curious. And then, of course, they have it in the oblique print again. This is a little bit less at 2600 Next, I want to show you this bag from Ateliers Auguste. You guys know I'm a fan of theirs. They're a new up-and-coming brand. All of their bags are designed in Paris, but handmade in Italy, and I have two of their bags. This is their newest Alma Baguette Gold Edition. I think it's really cute, and it goes for $592. It's all box leather. Finally, I'm going to end with Chanel. This bag, I haven't heard anyone talk about it. It's their new flap bag. It is a single flap in lambskin. It is very, very similar to the classic flap, but it's got a little bit of an edge to it. You've got the Chanel lettering on the hardware. 
and here's what it looks like on the inside. It's interesting, I think, if you want something a little bit different and you don't want the same old, same old in terms of the classic flap look. This goes for 6100 which is thousands below the classic flap pricing. As we all know, the medium classic flap is now over $10,000. So here's what it looks like. I think it looks a little bit more playful. The side, though, however, you can see it doesn't have a flat base. It's got sort of like that creased, folded look, and I think that's intentional. So let me know what you guys think. I reviewed 20 bags. It was lightning speed, but I wanted to give you a quick glimpse of what's out there and I'm curious if you have a favorite. Thanks so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and join our community. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.